I've delved more into Kaylin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's get in touch with our contact. It won't end well for Angel if Albion finds out he's dead sick. Bagley summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. This is all off the books, I trust. No worries. I'll spoof. Well, come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What exactly is going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while, like now. God, this is bleak. You could vanish off the face of the earth in this place and no one would ever notice. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Mary Kelly pokes her misshapen head up once again. What isn't this woman involved with? Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic.
better run. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Check the surroundings. What was that noise? Damn, it's like they just vanished.
Bagley, tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not going to go well for you, then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. <clears throat> Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent... AI Overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? God, just shut up. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Well done.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. A little bit of the old, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? Looks like they implanted him with something. We need to get closer. Spatial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. And pharmaceutically jammed right into Angel's neck. Question is, why? GPS? RFID? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Keep on him. He might have made it out. up on him. Come on, Angel. He might just make it. Okay, that chip was more than just a tracking device. Looks like they triggered it. I don't know what Mary Kelly's up to, but at the risk of sounding too optimistic, Angel's alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right round the corner. Not too bad for a first go, if I do say so myself. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Um, was that a compliment? You'll get used to Bagley's mannerisms. I think you did quite well.